6, 6 a.m. in the morning. Whew. I had a good sleep though. I was warm the whole time. Never got out of the hammock once. All night, which is really good. That's because I, uh, this time, wore my uh, long sleeve uh, shirt here and my uh, 200 weight uh, wool long john. So that kept me extra warm. Looked to be because of this cheap sleeping bag, but man, I'm still warm, so that was great. So that worked. And these cooler, and I can tell it's still cool out, so that was a good choice. Yeah, that was great. Man, last night, raccoons. Oh, look at all those mosquitoes. Ooh. Mosquitoes are all out. Look, they're easy. Yeah, there. Raccoons all over my camp. Man, I hope my bear bag's still hanging. And I got a little cord. Got my pedal upside down. Or do I? Yep. As you can see there, you have a cord attached to it, which was actually in the hammock. So that little cord there was already attached over here. That works great for my uh, piece of my uh, pillow in place. I like. I got the other half out of it, but it works perfect for that. Oh, yeah, bear bag still hanging. Great. Yeah, I was going to get up and take uh, pictures again of the and uh, video of the sun rising, but nope. Not happening. I slept so good in here. Wow. So warm. It didn't get cold at all. So, well, yeah, so. I didn't feel like getting up yet. And yeah, six. Ten after six. Oh. <sighs> oh. Gonna have to get up eventually. I'm gonna take another 15, 20 minutes and get up and go get my bear bag and have some of uh, my coffee and hot chocolate and start uh, tearing down my hammock and, uh, and then start the hike back out. This is great.
ready to go. Whew. So I um, left camp and headed back home. So that was a that was a great night. Few issues though, like with my hammock that I had, but hooked it to a, the wrong tree. The tree wasn't strong enough, I guess. So it was like a springboard. So other than that, that was a great, uh, great night. I think I got my uh, sleep system down now for the like this is May, near the end of May, so May 25th, 26th now. I think. So yeah, so. I got something. Figured out some other stuff. Another thing is I put uh, spare batteries in my front pouch here. Right there. I got two uh, good to go. So now I don't have to take the pack off to change out batteries. Because no bo bo you, but when you're backpacking, last thing you want to do is when you put this pack on and adjust it. Let's take it back off. Let's see where I'm going here. Little. There's some trees here, which I'll grab, come through this stuff. Like I said, you can come through there a hundred times. It only takes one time to slip. So, I'll be grabbing branches. Last thing I want to do is slide down that in the mud. So it's gonna be a nice day Whew, today anyways so this is great it should only take me 40 40 minutes 45 minutes maybe to get out of here to my car anyways so that's not bad Whew. oh that's a nice breeze coming off the lake there warm breeze but still nice Almost at the car. Let's check my time here. So 9:30. Yeah. Yep. That took me about uh, 45 minutes to get to, from campsite uh, three out to the parking lot at the end of Big Salmon Lake. So. 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 Uh, that was pretty good. Oh. No one else here except for one vehicle and mine. That was great. Oh. So. Car is filthy. So, yeah, that was a pretty good hike. I am sweating.